Hi everyone, it's Jason here, local tech experts with another build for you. Um, this is the second time I'm building this one, so no surprises this time. Um, I'll put the specs in one of the corners as per usual. Um, so the case this is going in is first player. They're kind of hard to find around here, so I had to order, order these ones in. But the, um, the shipping was quite cheap, so that's, that's good. Um, I'll probably get a couple more of these because I kind of like the design. It's very unique, unique design, I guess. They sort of have a futuristic look going for them. Um, so I'll get into the build. Um, I'll, I'll take this out of the box, give you guys a look, and then go through the specs like I did last time. Um, I'll look at the website and actually look at the proper specs rather than me just trying to guess them. But they're pretty simple cases anyway. So this is a MATX case, um, and I'll get into the build now. Thanks, guys. All right, so here it is out of the box, guys. Um, as you can see, it's a mesh front with this sort of robotic sort of uh, design, I guess. Um, it's got a glass panel. It has a little, um, under this protective plastic, it has a little sort of handle. Um, it's hinged. It's a hinge design, so open it up and uh, take the door off from the hinge. If I can get it off. Yep. Put that to the side. So the reason I got this case is because um, I managed to get a bunch of fan kits and they're 140 fan kits and this takes a 140 in the back. So not too many cases take 140 fans in the back. Um, a lot of them you can put them in the front or the top or the bottom, but not many you can do in the back. So looking at the back here, you can see you can fit a 120 or a 140 and you can also do uh, vertical mounts, uh, um, GPUs, which is a nice touch. Obviously no, no um, GPU riser, but if you have one that's going to fit, you've got the option anyway. Little detail on this one is they give you white thumb screws, which is uh, a bit different. Match the white. Looking around the side here, We've just got um, a single 3.5 inch bay in the bottom here. Um, you can put a 2.5 on the top there probably as well. A um, couple of SSD, 2.5 inch SSD mounts on the side here too. Pretty simple case, simple design, but you don't need to be too fancy with these things. A couple of tie downs and some hard drive mounts. That's all you really need. Yep. screws and cable ties, nothing too fancy in there either. Um, front I.O. is just your USB 2, USB 3, audio and your uh, power switch and reset and all that sort of stuff, so pretty standard there. You can take a long power supply, like I, I put um, the EVGA 750 modular in there and had no problem whatsoever. Um, mesh on the top as well, magnetic, removable which is um, it's quite nice for a budget case. Um, I'd rather get one of these over like a, one of the Versa H18s or Matrix 30. Those things are just sort of trash, I guess, but um, I'd much rather get something like this than, than one of those. It's a similar build quality and it's just got that, that cool design. So um, it's worth hunting around for for what you want rather than what's available. Um, front I.O. power, um, reset, there's an LED switch there. The, the fan kit I have doesn't, doesn't take that. It's just an actual button controller. Um, two USB 2s, headphone mic and a USB 3. Uh, PSU cutout, no rubber grommets or anything. Um, like I said, a 120 or a 140 in the back. Um, Radiator in the top, uh, 240, 280, I think. Uh, radiator at the front. I'll go through the actual specs when I get back to my desk and um, see what it what it actually can take. But that's what it, it looks like. Once once you sort of built into a few, you sort of get an idea of what's going to fit. So looks like a 360 in the front there, which is nice as well. 360 radiator or three fans. But because of the because of the um, 
front grille, uh, you're better off with larger fans in the front. Um, it says in the promotional material, it has a 200 mil fan in there. So I can see some screws there. Um, so that might be the case. And in this one as well, the fans, I put one, two 140s and the fans can actually fit. I like it when the fans can fit on the front rather than being on the inside because then it has more access to the to the air rather than having being all blocked off. Um, yeah, so I like I like being able to have a front cover that that has enough space for the fans to be in in the front rather than in the back here. Um, so I'll set the camera up for for building. Um, first, I'll run through the specs with you guys, the actual specs from the website. Um, I'll do that during editing, but um, yeah. I'll, this is the second one of these, so it comes in black as well, so I might get a couple of black ones at some point. Um, if I get some more MATX boards, they're good value. They're, I think they're 60 Australian dollars plus $10 postage, so $70, and then you've got to put the cost of fans on top of that, of course. So probably 100 bucks you're looking at sort of thing, so not too bad for a white, white interesting white case. Um, I'll get into the build. Thanks, guys. Hi everyone, so I'm back at my desk here. I haven't actually built into that machine yet, but um, I have done a build into it before. Uh, my desk buddy here today is uh, Legend's uh, Kickback. He's a grasshopper, obviously. I haven't transformed him yet, but um, yeah, he's one of my favorites. I like him in all his variations. I've got a few different, few different versions of him. Um, so back to the specs of this one. So here we have the D3A from first player um, Obviously on their shot they have a uh, 200 mil in the front there. This is the black one. Obviously I built into the white one um, Looking down at the tech specs here. You have the dimensions and all that sort of stuff drive bays, so it says Zero CD-ROM, two 3.5 and three 2.5. I think some of those are interchangeable. Like if you if you have two 3.5s, you might only get two SSDs, that sort of thing. Um, in terms of fan support, it says one 12 centimeter, so a 120, uh, two 14s, or one 20 centimeter, or 200 mil. Uh, a 12 or a 14 on the back and two 12 or 14s on the top. So you can see they've got three, three 14s. They've got an all in one at the top there, three 14s and a 200 there. So plenty of cooling options. Um, I'll get straight into the build now um, and let you guys have a watch. Thanks guys. <laughs>
So here's how it turned out in the end, guys. Um, sometimes it, it's worth the risk to sort of go with these uh, lesser know known brands. Um, this one's an up and comer, I think. They, they're doing everything right in terms of uh, budget and features wise. Um, cable management could be better in the back. Um, some some of the if you're using a long power supply and modular cables, then you got to take the drive bay out first and then sort of squeeze it all in there. But um, it fits in there okay. It's just a bit of work. Um, the fans, the 140s, I think in the front is is probably the best bet. The if you put a one if you put a 200 mil in there in the front there, it's a bit of a waste because a lot of it's going to be blocked off by the uh, by the mounting mounting mechanism um i think 140s are the best way to go in this one um look forward to building into more of these guys cases and uh possibly get some of their other other designs i have built into one of these before um in one of my previous videos similar design it's an matx uh, style um but i'll probably look at one of their atx ones next thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one see ya